May 31st, 2011, we'll see the centenary of the launch of the Titanic, which is a very important milestone for Belfast, the city in which this most famous of ships was built. It's a story that's about tragedy, it's about a human story, it's about romance, it's about popular culture. And up until now, um, there's been one part of that story that's been missing, and that's been Belfast's part of the story, the city that built and dreamt the ship. It took three years to build Titanic, and many local people were employed in the construction. There were 67 different trades built the Titanic. They built it from scratch. They laid a keel, a metal plate, a keel plate down, and from that it rose up and everything that they put on that ship they made themselves. Um, they brought in timber and they dried it out. Uh, they made, from a log, it could finish up as a cabinet, uh, which I always thought was a remarkable thing. And my dad was very proud of the fact that they were so skilled in all areas. Some of the ship's engineers went on to crew with the Titanic for her maiden voyage. My great-grandfather, Thomas Miller, was on Titanic. He worked here in the shipyard, helped to build uh, the engines for the ship and then decided in 1912 that he was going to go to sea. So he was a deck engineer on board Titanic, hoping to make a new life for himself based in New York. Well, he pulled out of Belfast on the 2nd of April uh, as the ship went to Southampton. And he brought his two young boys, my grandfather, who was five, and his older brother, aged 11. Uh, he brought them down to the quayside to say his goodbyes. And just before he left, he gave each boy two new pennies and said, don't spend those until I see you again. And of course, because he didn't make it back from Titanic, my grandfather remembered those words and he kept the two pennies all of his life. We still have them today. The centenary of the launch is being marked with some very special events and exhibitions, such as Titanica in the Ulster Folk and Transport Museum. It's very fitting uh, that in the centenary year of the launch of Titanic, we have put together this wonderful exhibition called Titanica, uh, which for the first time brings together collections from National Museums Northern Ireland, alongside collections from Titanic herself. The breadth and wealth of the collection that they have here, which could inform so many people who are researching Titanic. Uh, they have concept drawings, uh, they have uh, items that we will never recover, such as the deck benches from other Olympic-sized ships, and it allows us a chance to compare what we have recovered from the shipwreck with the items that are similar and perhaps have their decoration or are still uh, defined by their use, and so it, it will inform what we have as well. Sitting at the heart of that experience will be the new Titanic Belfast attraction that will bring that Titanic story home. It will tell visitors about the, uh, the building of Titanic but also about the wider industrial and maritime heritage that uh, made the city the industrial powerhouse it was in the, in the 20th century. For the people of Belfast, the Titanic is a proud part of their history. Well, it's one of the largest ships that ever that was ever built, I suppose, in the British Isles, and yeah, and a sister ship, the Olympia, so yeah, definitely. It's something for Belfast, I know it sank, but it's still, it's still something we should be proud of, yeah. I think it's an important piece of history, and um, that Belfast is a lovely place to visit. We're all very friendly here. I think they should come here to see the technology that we had in those days to build a ship so, so marvellous and brilliant. And the amount and of people also, that are unemployed yes, as well. But they should just also come here because it's a great place to be. I'm Tim Husbands, I'm Chief Executive of Titanic Belfast and this is our £100 million tourism project that we would invite you all to come and see and welcome and enjoy the experience.